Hi there everyone, the remaining region here, and welcome to Wallachia. We're gonna get straight into the game, and our goal will be to try and form Romania, at minimum, the Kingdom of Romania, or the Danubian State, if possible, which is all of that. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a lot. Alright, so we will begin by getting in the church and um, the armed forces in the government. We will go to laws and we will try to get... A dedicated police force we will not we will not go for a local police force because that will give more power to the landowners and instead we'll go straight to a dedicated police force and I will and I am even going to use revolutions to get uh, the aristocracy angry at me just to rush our reform process we're gonna get taxes to the max absolute max we're gonna get taxes on services on tobacco liquor and at the same time, let's get road maintenance, social mobility, encourage manufacturing, and greener gas grass campaigns to get more people in here. And then we will just go and add a few more taxes. This and sure, this. Our military can't really compete with anyone, so we'll just downgrade it. Oh, it is already literally the lowest level. All right. Um. So we still have serfdom and slave trade. But we don't have legacy slavery, so Wallachia is more advanced than America. Like, we are historically more advanced than the, than the savage Americans. Alright, and we will begin by getting ourselves, right, another construction sector. We are currently a protect- we are also currently a protectorate of the Ottomans, so we can't really get away from them. Go to diplomatic actions, and I will- no, no. I will increase relations with uh, the Austrians and decrease relations with the Ottomans and Moldavians. Alright, let's start off by building a tooling industry and then we'll go into building iron. Let's get one tool workshop. We can afford about three construction sectors and we're gonna be building... Oh, and we actually got dedicated police force, so that's, so that's very, very good. So as you can see, we get... The landowners get 50% political power from slave trade, from serfdom, and 25 from peasant levies, hereditary bureaucrats, and monarchy. So we want to try and we and take those away. Right, we will go and try to get a ch charity hospitals. This will make the Orthodox Church more strong, and thus will take power away from the aristocrats. And there, there you go. Now we're starting to build up. Our strategy will be to reform as fast as possible to get laissez-faire for the investment pool, to get free trade in order to be able to trade for all the resources like sulfur and lead that we do not have, and to try and get to proportional taxation as fast as possible. We will also need to go for no migration controls, total separation, so that anyone of any religion from around the world can, from around the world can come here, and we will also want to get multiculturalism so that anyone of any culture can migrate here. This will give us the population that we will need to really be able to stand up for ourselves against the Ottomans, which have like way more, way have they have twenty times our population. But I, but we will close that up. Days of darkness, really? No. Why would I send? I won't send anything to Duchess in this. It doesn't matter. Why? Why would I care about that? Jesus Christ! We're not even. Let's get harvesting tools. We are such a backwards economy right now. Yeah, the, and the prince intervenes in politics, and um, yeah, we I will take that because I want to actually get this law passed. Let's get all, let's also get a iron mine, and we will try to get um, let's see what would be most useful to us. Probably atmospheric pumps or no atmospheric engines. And the thing is that we as Ulakia actually start with iron and coal, which is what you need for industrialization. In, even though we lack things like sulfur or lead, you know, for ammunition and for glass, that coal and iron is basically all you need. We can also build a few logging camps, but not that many really. Oh, the demand for iron is going up, so we will need to build probably even more. And we got charity hospitals. Let's see what else we can get. We could try going for agrarianism. I first want to focus on getting all of the laws that uh, weaken the landowners. Political power. Slave trade, serve them. let's see what else. We could go to, to a theocracy, but we would be going from making one, one um, old institution powerful to making another one powerful. So we'll try and go for professional army, so that we take this 
we take these peasant levies away from the landowners. It's a 7% chance, but who knows? Yeah, so I was gonna say, as we industrialize our nation, we're gonna get more trade unions and we're gonna enforce everyone that would be against the landowners. At first, our economy is gonna grow quite slow because we're gonna be focusing on the basics like grain and iron and coal and everything. But after that, you're gonna see it start to go up quite quickly. Hmm. In 24 months, we're getting atmospheric engine. That requires coal. So, I'll also make sure to build one coal mine when it eventually when I eventually discover that institution. I am extorting my my subjects of literally everything they have. I'm also gonna pay my people literally nothing. This will make them hate me, but eh, whatever. Alright, well, we're gonna get another tooling workshop. The starting cycle is tools, tool is more tools to get more iron to then produce more tools and so on. Right, let's let's try this government. Will it give us other laws available? No, not really, no. Maybe this configuration will be better for us? No, not that either. I'm curious if this will work at all. Oh, it will work, right. So, since our leader, Alexandru Gik Gicha, Gika, is a landowner himself, we absolutely are required to have the landowners in the government. But that doesn't mean that we cannot include an unpopular group here. So, since we have the intelligentsia here, we can try going, for example, let's see, what to have the highest chance of passing, really? Uh, no, nothing, nothing, really. Alright, let's try and get slavery banned. It's a low chance, but we need to try that. It's giving the landowners plus 50% political power, that is ridiculous. To be honest, I'm, I wouldn't be really mad if the landowners revolted, I would actually be pretty happy. Because if the landowners revolt, that gives me a reason to kick them out of government and make them really weak for a while, allowing me to do more reforms. E even if it means getting a revolution, I'm absolutely going to. And let's downgrade this construction sector in order to actually make some money here. And in about 3 years we doubled our economy, which isn't really saying that much considering we are literally bottom of the barrel 500k. Alright, uh, let's also start building that um, coal mine I was talking about, there you go. And we actually got slavery banned. That is really good. Look at look at this. They the landowners are all are already only 43%. If we get serve them banned, that's another 50% gone for them. Serve them abolished. Come on. There you go. In three months, we're getting atmospheric engine. That that again, as I said, requires coal. Let's get mechanical tools. Right. All right. Build the coal mine. Get it going, and then switch to atmospheric engine pump. Now we switch our iron mines to using atmospheric engines. This also uses more tools, so there will be high demand for that too. There you go, another uh, tooling workshop we will build. I said it like Yoda, another tooling workshop we shall workshop we shall build. There you go, there you go, the demand is going up. Let's see, can we, affo can we afford again another construction sector? Or is it too much for our economy? And there you go, yes we can actually afford it now. Three construction sectors. I won't switch to iron frame buildings because when you only have three construction sectors, that's a that's really micromanaging and really weird to manage since you have such low demand that even just having one uh, steel refinery would probably be too much. And so we will wait. Um, hmm. Okay, let me increase demand for coal. Oh no, let me build another coal mine. And then go for and then go for gas street lights that will consume more coal. We can actually build motor industries. What? Okay. Coal is so overpriced right now. Uh, 36 coal needed. We're producing 40. Okay. Build another tooling workshop again, and then probably like another two two iron mines. Yes, one iron mine level produces 40, so we'll need another two. 1.6 million in 4 years we quad literally quadrupled our GDP, we are now the 44th GDP per capita in the world. These indignities must end. I think I will actually prioritize the building the steel mill, just to try and get my get more tools quick more quickly. Get more tools more quickly, what? Okay. 3, 4, 6 different uh, consumption taxes. That is a bit extreme. If we go over here we can see that... Um, the upper strata is taxed at 22.7% of their income, and the lower strata is <laughs> taxed at 20.1%. You know, we are actually quite a progressive society, you know? We actually tax the 
higher the upper classes the upper classes more than the lower ones oh they look they already appeared in government look at this they are 17 percent we have a few you know a few radicals but that's fine that's one that's 10 percent of our population but it's all right come on you know let's build in our construction sectors we have i have there are, I have too many gold, too much gold reserves for my comfort. I want that to be near zero. When you have an economy this small, you have to be really careful what you build. When you are a big economy like the Russians, oh, just build 10 mines or 8 mines or 12 mines or whatever. It will give us more iron in general. But when you're the Wallachia, you build one iron mine and it either gives you just enough or now your mining industry is collapsing because the price of iron is underpriced. Right, we will go for steel tools to create a demand for the steel mills. There you go, come on, build a few more. Damn, there is a massive demand. We have the number one steel mill in the world because it's the first one. Let's go for, for crystal glass, sure. First, let's get our basic industry right. Alright, we need to prioritize getting another two coal mines. Right now there's literally zero demand for groceries because there's none available. But once I build it, there, there will be a demand for it. My government isn't really that legitimate, but whatever. Damn, coal is so expensive. It's, if it gets to plus 60, if it gets to plus 75 percent cost, yep. As I said, it becomes a shortage. It becomes a serious problem. We're, we're, that's why we're build, we're prioritizing building those. Then we will. Then I will try and build a food industries, a furniture. A manufacturing and a textile mill for for the basic needs of my people I'll also prioritize building a motor industry just so I can immediately like I mean immediately go for railways once they become available so we will need sugar in our food industry so to do that we will switch our wheat farms to citrus orchards in order to produce more sugar once we actually manage to build this food industry Alright, let's try getting national militia to, again, try and weaken the intelligent, the um, landowners. And we will build yet another constru construction sectors, because again, I don't like this. What is this? Half of your gold reserves filled? That's supposed to be to zero. Why are you not meta playing? Our upper strata is at least prosperous, that's nice. And our middle strata is secure. Only our lower strata is struggling, or near starvation, but doing better. As you can see, people want to leave Africa, um, let's see, Great Qing, India. I don't know if they can really my immigrate out considering they have that the borders of these countries are closed, but whatever. I'll get the industrialists and the landowners in charge. I will try abolishing serfdom again with a 20% chance. We'll get canneries. We'll try getting this. And we actually abolish serfdom, so the landowners are really weak right now. Let's try getting lives I fair. Alright, alright, we do have access to some silk, that's nice. We are building that motor industry to prepare for building railways. And we got Lysai Fair, so look at that. Our investment pool is turned in 30,000 and we are lo and 2k are going out of it monthly or weekly. Well, I actually want to build as fast as possible, so eh, I don't think it, it really matters. Let's just get like another four construction sectors. We will need for iron frame buildings, we need more tools, less fabric, less wood, and more iron. A lot more iron. We actually have enough to do that. We can actually do that. Okay, another three coal mines. Another, what is this? Another four iron mines. No, actually, only, yeah, only three coal mines. And then a lot of tooling workshops, about three of them. Oh yeah, I can get another law. Let's get free trade. That's gonna help massively. There you go, we're losing 4k now, this. So the way that I'm building this is that I'm building the coal mines and the iron mines. Those require more tools and then I can accurately see just how many tools I'll need to build. So I will not build the tooling workshops first, obviously. That was not at all just a happy mistake that I didn't think about, but whatever. In about 10 years, our GDP ro rose by like 11 times. And we are the 7th, 5th GDP per capita nation in the world. There you go, the demand for tools has increased massively. No, 3 will probably still do, nice. Intensive agriculture. We will try going for railways. Oh, and we can get those immediately. We will do the intensive grazing ranch, which gives us fertilizer. And then soil enriching um, 
farming which uses more fertilizer. Let's get nitroglycerin to be able to extract more resources out of the ground. Oh, and it seems like the Ottomans are at war with um, Russia, which is gonna weaken them. We are slowly running out of peasants, which is a major problem. Let's also get a... Or is it a government administration? Yeah, we need to build more universities. Uh, can we get sulfur? Yes, we can get sulfur. Or let's also build a railway. We'll switch, the, we'll switch this to wooden passenger carriers. We can actually get rail transportation, which means we it uses less laborers and more railway transportation. Let's get, nitro, let's get nitroglycerin. Oh, we need explosives for that, right? We need chemical plants. Let's get let's get rid of these barracks. It's not like we can do anything with them. What are the bullets? There we go. More condensing. We need a ton of clothes, so we not we don't really have the labor to produce that, all that. But let's get explosives demanded. Number one GB per capita in the world. Let's get Leonard voting. We are the 18th biggest economy in the world. We are half the Ottoman economy. And we'll try getting landed voting. Let's get no migration controls. Alright, let's uh, lower taxes to the lowest and actually pay our people, our employees more. And we actually got no migration controls, that was lucky. Let's get free trade. Let's try that again. And we have free trade, Jesus. Let's get per capita taxation. Let's get egalitarianism. More railways and more glass. We need so many tools, god. And there you go, even more. Let's try getting tool separation to bring in everyone of any religion. Look at our people, they're middling. Even the lower strata is middling. Our upper strata is affluent. Some people are migrating here. And there you go, Galtronism. Let's get central archives. We have 125% migration attraction here. We are actually the highest in the world, I think. Okay, no. There's this part of Alaska, or of Russia. We will declare an interest in Poland to be able to trade with everyone there. Let's try getting multiculturalism actually, even better. We are at least independent now that the, Aust that the Ottomans are in the Austrian market. Let's try getting universal suffrage. Right, uh, I have uh, quite a few problems right now. I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling too well. I'm stuck between two major powers. You know what, France would allow me to join their market or to become their protectorate, but I would have no access. So there's not really a point. I just need to get multiculturalism and that will be the and that will be it. Right now our economy is uh, quite um quite sensible. Even even though our economy was literally cut in half, we are still the number 5 GDP per capita in the entire world and the 27th biggest economy. Even then we are so we are still powerful. Oh come on, give me multiculturalism please. Come on, 81%, do this for me, please. Let's try getting guaranteed liberties, maybe? There you go, guaranteed liberties. Now let's try getting universal suffrage. There you go, our economy is going back up. I'll make sure that my relations stay high with uh, the Austrians, so they don't throw me out of their market. Let's finally ramp, out the, ramp up those construction sectors. We have 4 million in the investment pool that need to be spent. There you go, our economy is picking back up, this is what I want to see. We're recovering from like the financial crash. Moldavia declares rivalry. Yeah, buddy. I'd like to see what you'll do. I don't know why I'm trying to antagonize the Moldavians. I literally have no barracks right now. I have no divisions. Turmoil is... Uh, yeah, it's something else. But it's going down. Because we're actually improving our economy back. Alright, so our economy has recovered and is going up. Universal suffrage. Everyone can vote now. Let's get Parliamentary Republic. You know what? We're investing everything in law enforcement. I'm not tolerating this. Now we're getting actually immigration. Look at this. 1.55 million and this should skyrocket, I think. I think. There you go, our economy is going up now. There you go. Now we have again the highest GDP per capita in the world. Let's get elected bureaucrats. Turmoil is annoying me so much. But it is but I'm slowly getting it down. Abor Aboriginal migration? Okay. Okay, we're getting weird migration. There you go, our population is doubling now. Sulfur is always like a problem. It is always. It's never ne it's never ever been naughty problem. There you go, we can actually adjust how many construction sectors we have. There you go, now we that that we get that we got elected bureaucrats, we can actually go to buildings, go all the way down over here and get professional bureaucrats. And the land donors are weaker. Let's try getting national militia, just straight up. Uh oh, Austria has a revolution. 
I don't like that. Our standard of living ne never really recovered from the from the economic collapse for the 40th biggest in the world. Polish migration, eh? That's interesting. All right, all right. We can actually afford quite a few of them. National militia. Let's get pub let's get public schools. Yeah, I'm, I just need to spam out a lot of government administrations. That bureaucracy is gonna help me a lot. Public schools. Now we can go to institutions and get uh, and get level three education investment. Oh, we need more infrastructure, right? I think we actually find we actually we actually captured the Jack the Ripper. I have no idea what he what the hell he was doing in Wallachia instead of London, but we captured him. So thumbs up for that. Right, let's see. Let's see. Can we make the industrialists happy with something? Poor laws. We could actually get that. That would make them invest a lot more in the investment pool, allowing me to grow my economy faster. Let's get them in government. This makes them loyal. There you go. Let's get poor laws to make the industrialists uh, more happy. It makes the industrialists and the trade unions more happy. So that's nice. There you go. Now they're actually investing more in the in investment pool. And we have the 11th biggest economy in the world now. Let's take a look at uh, migration. Mo turmoil is slowing immigration. Oh my god. Turmoil is so annoying. I think it's caused by all the damn radicals I have. It might be the case to reduce taxes. Poor laws, there you go. That makes the industrialists really happy. Let's get public health insurance. Alright, let's see. What are we importing? We are importing... Ah, Austria is importing a lot of grain for us. I was like, why are we importing 28,000 grain? Private health insurance, I guess. I'm happy with that. Creation migration, alright. There you go, we are no longer getting affected by the turmoil stuff. Jesus Christ, we need more construct... We need to construct a lot more stuff. We need 5,000 coal, God. Let's build 30 coal mines, let's push this to the max. Max construction sectors. Yeah, let's get electrical generation. That'll, that would be nice. Look at my economy. I mean, don't get me wrong. My economy is now 100% reliant on Austria. If I'm kicked out of the Austrian market for whatever reason, I'm dead. Oh, I'm okay. I am dead again. Put it that way. So I have to hope that the Austrians are play are playing ball with me and they don't kick me out. Hopefully. You know what? Let's build all the coal mines we can ever do. We will fi we will be the fuel to the Austrian market. Property woman, more workforce ratio. This is the most capitalistic game. I don't care about women's rights or whatever. I only care about so the men that we submit them and become their protectorate. Uh, save game and um, let me think about this. How about you go and uh, screw yourself? And how about I see if I can maybe get an alliance with someone? I cannot. No, friends, go away. Why? You, leave me alone, please. I am producing 5,000 coal. I am the one that is providing the Austrian market with all its coal. If I were kicked out of the Austrian market, it would die from lack of coal. I would also die, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. Okay, it would be really bad. I'm not even gonna, die, gonna deny it. Let's build electricity. Restrict, restrict child labor. I was looking whether it would make the industrialists uh, mad enough to stop investing so much in my investment pool. I didn't care they were children. I just wanted to see if it would actually... There you go. We have a bigger economy than the Ottomans. We'll, we will screw them up. Let's start building barracks. We need to try and get mass conscription. Enlistment offices, this is what I need. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go and try and get steel building, steel frame buildings. Open half process, more iron and more steel. Alright, radicals don't like taxes being this high, fine. I guess I'll lower them after building more universities for you. For you, which you are gonna use. 117 innovation, you know that's not that bad. I absolutely need steel frame buildings so that I can actually you because I only can build uh, 20 construction sectors until I conquer another state. The tenth num the tenth biggest economy in the world. There you go, we're just a bit behind Italy. Oh and Italy actually formed. That's nice. Hmm, I sound sarcastic when saying that, I don't know why. 
let's get mu mutual funds do i want to do that actually okay more capitalists which will invest more in the investment pool i like that i like that why are you mad okay so the capitalists absolutely and utterly hate minus 20 opposition they would they absolutely detest uh, um public health insurance okay i can understand that let's try getting parliamentary republic then and let's switch to steel frame buildings there you go radicals are going down they are very happy radicals we are getting more loyalists parliamentary republic there you go we are a parliamentary republic oh god we also need to remove some decrees let's get rid of uh, row maintenance that's that might be a problem promote social mobility sure get rid of that sure get rid of um encourage manufacturing industry we get plus 50 percent throughput from our coal mines because of economies of scale they are produced instead of producing like six like five thousand coal they're producing eight thousand this is insanely profitable right let's start using this electricity that we have crew migration i don't know where that is but whatever let's get proportional taxation this will give us a lot, of, a lot more money. A lot, a lot more money. Uh, let me tell you something. Economies in this game are very, are very fragile things. You get rid of coal, of iron, of one of the basic resources, it all collapses. If I were to be ripped away from the Austrian market, I would probably collapse. Maybe not totally, but at least lose like maybe 10, 20 million of, the G of this GDP. Proportional taxation. There you go. Oh boy, that's a lot of money. Oh, we will become the providers of electricity for Austria. Right, let's get mut let's get uh, pi let's get these um, manufacturers being publicly traded. Let's get still railway cars. We're spending 40k on universities. Damn, the Austrians are are demanding a lot of an a lot of electricity right now. We can build seven government administrations at a time. Five million population. This is going up and up and up. Oh right, I also wanted to go to military and get enlistment offices to get to be able to get mass conscription. I think I'm pretty much done with uh, changing laws. I don't really want to change anything else except for maybe getting compulsory compulsory primary schooling, but that's pretty much it. Maybe go for protectionism, but aside from that, not much I can think of doing. Let's get everyone in government. There you go. All that sweet bureaucracy. Oh baby boy, that's that's good. Who that's good. <laughs> We are spending 40, 50k on it, but it's alright. Come on, it's alright. The plan is get enlistment offices, get mass conscription, and start building tons of barracks. Jesus Christ, still is so expensive. Uh, we'll just build like 20 of them. When we leave the Austrian market, it's gonna affect them quite severely. Oh my God, I forgot to, I forgot again to build the infrastructure. Right, uh, build some, build some railways, cause that's quite needed. Alright, that is better, that is better, we are no longer having gigantic problems with infrastructure. Let's also get, let's also start researching military technology. Now, we can actually research mass conscription. Let me get the military in government. Mass conscription. And for some reason, I don't know why, this guy Abu Sekin Ermanala is our leader. Whatever, dude. Now Silvio Cardadja is in charge. Flemish migration. We have mass conscription. Now this is when it gets crazy. But let's build up our economy even more. Oh, I, I'm actually running out of workers. That is impressive. Oh, never mind. We now have 32k peasants. It went. We just get 32, 30k thousand people instantly. Society, feminism human rights then feminism and then we can get women's suffrage for even more workers we can make slaves out of our women workers that is amazing we're building 10 barracks at a time to not uh, crash our gold reserves there you go we're building 10 barracks at a time every single time in in two weeks we have built up literally all of the barracks that we can build and now we are the one and now we if you go to Wallachia you can see that we can build, we can, when they are fully employed, the barracks, we can get a hundred regular battalions and a hundred conscript battalions. If we play this right, we can defeat the Ottomans, just on our own. Or get Wallachia, one of the two. Right now, I just have to wait to get more people. Let's get skirmish infantry and mobile artillery everywhere. 
let's say so we need 80 ammunition but we're but when we mobilize against the ottomans we're gonna need double that since we have conscripts there you go 88 battalions it's going up and up right let's start building more paper so that we don't spend so much on our damn universities and government administrations and let's also go for feminism normally i wouldn't like that but now it it is actually advantageous i think we i think it may be a good idea to go protectionist uh do i want to though tear so it's tariffs you know what let's just do it just do it we need 100 guns and 100 artillery again with a conscription that that is like 200 and 200 so let's say 300 to be safe 21 standard of living we have the best in the world right now our lower strat is again middling our military is prosperous and again our upper strat is affluent i'm just building up my arms industry right now and we got protectionism we received 5,000 migrants last week so we're getting 20,000 immigrants every month which is 200,000 240,000 people every year that is 2.4 million in 10 years right that's a bit that's just a bit we're getting a ridiculous amount of migrants every every week right now i don't really want to build after i'm done with this i'm just going to wait to get enough migrants to fill all these jobs up we'll we need to wait for an event which pops out around this time after we after we research this all right let's get rid of these construction sectors just have like a few here so that i have as many workers available for my normal industry 14 gdp per capita and the seventh biggest economy in the world we are bigger than Russia currently and we are getting clo quite close to France. Let's get exper experienced offensive strategist, sure. So you can command 60 troops with the conscript battalions. And another one, let's see what we get. Offensive planner, I like, I like this. A defensive and an offensive guy, I like this. There is a limit to every popul to every state. That when you get to a certain amount of population, it gets a minus 100% or I don't remember what it is, minus 100% debuff to immigration if it is overpopulated. Let me try and find a state that fits that. I can't really find an example of this, but I'll keep looking. Right, now we can just lower taxes and just chill right now. There's not much else we can do. Alright, I will try and go for a conquest of the Bruja. Austria, please leave me the hell alone. Alright, let's see what happens. It says that Austria may side with the enemy. Why though? Why do you want to side with the enemy? What did I do to you, Austria? I was a, I'm a good member of your economic sphere. Let's pay our troops also top wages. Let's import all the weapons that we can to make sure that it is as, that it is as cheap as possible to employ our troops. Russia sided with the Ottoman Empire. I'm sorry, what? You know what? That's honestly not even that bad. I think, I believe I could hold that. So, Austria, wait, Austria, Russia and the Ottomans? Alright, screw you. That's just BS. I cannot fight that. I cannot fight that. Alright, fine. We. I will wait until one of these suckers gets involved in a war, so I can attack them. I'll, I'll wait until then. Oh, if there's one thing that annoys me in Victoria 3 is the major powers getting involved in small-scale wars. I could bankroll both Russia and Italy. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bankroll them in the hope of getting uh, an obligation from one of them. We will try and adapt to whatever situation arises. We will try and see if there is any conflict going on. Our armed forces are actually loyal, which is really nice. There you go, we actually now have a surplus of peasants. You know what? I'm not gonna bankroll them anymore. This is just... No. No, I'm not bankrolling them. I'm wasting so much money and not getting anything right now. So... I know I could get an obligation, but... Nah. Stop bankrolling. Let's build up our, our gold reserves. So Austria sided with the Ottomans. Alright, alright. That's okay. As long as the Russians don't side with them, we may be okay. And we cannot get anyone at all on our side, really. That's why I'm building up my gold reserves, that is exactly why. Oh yeah, I should probably also mobilize, right, I should probably do that thing which is quite important to my survival. Conquer state, Bulgaria. We will try getting a Bulgaria treaty port, we will try at least. Alright, let's mobilize. We will, we will send, where is it? 
we will send uh, Yosef Kara Karaja to defend the this front in the north and we'll send Henry Kwanda, that's not a Romanian name at all, to push in the south. Alright, we are at war. Let's see how this works out. We have, we right now have 6 million gold reserves and our economy is uh, co collapsing. You know what, let's try advancing on all fronts. Let's try it. We are defending. My economy is currently collapsing, so yeah, that's something. The idea is that I manage to survive and defeat the Ottomans. We are managing to defend. The question is, can we go on the offensive and get uh, our treaty port in our state? We should be able to. Oh, Austria is also having some trouble with, what is this? Radical Württemberg. So that's also gonna be distracting them. We can fight for like 57 weeks, which is like a year, I think. You know what? I think free trade is actually the better idea. We, we don't, we are not quite able to push through. We don't have ammunition, why though? Because we don't have sulfur, of course. We cannot produce enough ammunition, we need more ammunition. Fah! Oh, everything sucks, everything sucks right now. Our economy is collapsing, but we can maybe survive the collapse long enough, maybe? A expert offensive planner, there you go. We cannot do much right now. We cannot do much right now, we just have to hope to dear god that uh, we win the war before we, our economy totally collapses. Let's hope that happens! Yorma, even though I helped si the Austrian market significantly, they still are not, aren't helping me for some reason. I wonder if it would be better with uh, free trade, that's what I'm curious about. We have 2.5 million gold reserves, but those will go in like 2 months. Oh god, they're actually pushing me through, god. Alright, this is not working. This is not working. Oh, we actually pushed one province. We are pushing in the south, actually. We're doing it. Oh my god, we're actually doing it. Our people are literally st are, are starving, but we are pushing. We could actually do it. Why are we having a naval battle on land? What is this? We can still... We still have some fight left in us. We will still, we will still fight on. We are gonna lose this war. Wallachian war operations. Alright, let's load to an earlier save and try this again. This time I have a slightly different idea. Maybe if I go for free trade, I may be able to import what I need to not die. You know what, I will just tell this guy to defend and this guy to advance. Maybe that is the trick. And and try going for... And try going for, tree, for free trade, maybe. Free trade, let's try going for it. Maybe, it will, maybe this is how you do it. Right, the idea is that if I have taxation levels to the lowest and government wages to the lowest, I may be able to slow down the collapse. Let's see if it works out for us. We, we, I think we'll actually win this battle, yeah, I think we'll do it. You know what, screw it, no taxes to slow this down. Offense, defense, we're actually doing it. We just have to survive long enough for this to happen. <laughs> we just need to survive long enough. The last thing I needed was for the front to be split up. Look at that bullsh... They are pushing me because I lost... Because the front split. That's the only reason they are actually pushing me. Alright, we won that battle and the front split again. Oh my... F oh my god, this is actually horrible. I'm salty for a good reason. We are successfully defending. But it is literally only a matter of whether the front splits or not. That's it. They are managing to push me down here because... Um, they have m way too many troops. But that's maybe not that bad. He has kidney stones and because of that we are probably losing. Alright, alright, we might actually win this war. Actually, I actually now have hope. Kidney stones, really. We are actually winning this war. We might actually win. We will actually win. Oh no, the front is doing weird stuff again. What is this? Right, we will win. We will win this war. The question is whether I can recover after the war. There you go, we're actually doing it, we're actually doing it. So I guess the trick to winning a war is having m nearly as many troops as the enemy, having better troops than the enemy in terms of quality, and and having extensive gold reserves to burn during the war, if you get isolated. This is just a desperate gamble to get access to the Bruja, to get access to the sea. And the front just, f just split into 50,000 parts. Alright, I will do this stuff. There you go, we're actually winning, we're winning, we're winning. O okay, Austria capitulated. Now we can send this guy to help advance. 
Austria, we are supposed to be friends. Why do you do this to me? By the way, buddy, how are you? Could I join maybe your market? Join custom union? Why not? Come on, Madi. We do joke with each other sometimes. And we have actually won. And we took... So this is our treaty port in the south to have access to the Ottoman market. And now we have access to, the, to a coastline. For the love of Christ, just give me access to the Austrian market. I need that. You know what? We could actually become a protectorate of France. Join the French market or become a protectorate of Italy, maybe. Hmm. First, get rid of our all of our barracks, all of them. Then get rid of our arms industries. Get rid of, it, of these ammunition plants. Oh, good Christ. Lead? Can we get lead? Mm, yes. Dyes? Yeah, I would like some dyes, please. Alright, alright, we're starting to import stuff. As you can see, we were extremely reliant on the Austrian market to do this. Alright, we need to restart this uh, chain up. Okay, so reduce demand for engines. What, use, what uses engines? Coal mines, railways, power plants. Alright, let's try and produce as much uh, grain as possible. Let's go through each individual one. There you go. Our textile mills are actually starting to work back up. Let's just go through each individual one. I just, I'm literally just going through each individual one trying to get it working back up. Right, we are producing way too many, we have way too many chemical plants. Engines, I need more engines. Alright, let's, we need to produce less steel. We just need more motors, like a ton more motors. My trade centers are at least making a killing right now. That's at least something. Alright, our economy is starting to not be as bad as it was. Alright, I will go back. Let's try getting free trade. Maybe this will change stuff. I'll try to set up my economy better this time. Now we got woman suffrage. We got protected speech. Now we now have free trade. We will try declaring war on Russia in the hopes that the damn Austrians don't come in against us. And we will remember to mobilize our armies now. I have 16 million in gold reserves. I have massive reserves. There you go. We are only at war with Russia. We could... This is an actual... This is an actual war, war we could do. I swear to God, Austria, don't join. I can support Ching joining their side. I can support that. We will add the uh, war goals to take... Bessarabia. We will get uh, Russian Dobruja. Austria is involved in something else currently. Oh, this guy will go on the offense, this guy will stay on the defense. There you go. Our armed forces are loyal. More stats for us. We have better stats. 7, 16 million gold reserves. Hmm. 17 GP per capita. Yeah, this is a bubble. This is absolutely a bubble. This is not a stable economy. We are advancing in Russia. That's good. We are winning the war. Slowly. We lost double the money of the Russians, but we lost, but we lost nearly half the wounded and like the same amount of dead. Because we don't have access to opium, we just cannot get opium. You know, the Great Qing actually has some decent troops, like it's not that bad. We capitulated the Great Qing and we defeated Russia and look at this, this is so good, much better. And let's incorporate these states. Minus 6% from overpopulation, eh? We have 10 million people, so that's good. 200,000 peasants available in in Bessarabia, that is what I need. We are gonna populate these states by bringing in all the immigrants possible. There you go, we're also building naval bases now. Let's build 40 power plants. While we stay in the, uh, in the, what's its name, the Austrian market. Let's get grass campaigns in Moldavia to get more people here. Let's build like another 25 farms to make sure that, that when we decouple from the Austrian market we do well. Uh, let's get electric railways, we really need that. I'm losing 50k subsidizing the railways. I'm building up our economy and then we're out here. Screw you, Austria. We have 600 construction, that's nice. I have 75 construction, or no, 755 construction. This is really good. Electric ra railway cars. We are declaring independence from the Austrian market. And end custom union. Let's import more sulfur and lead. Alright, we also need to import some sugar. Come on, get more of it in here. We are currently a great power apparently, but our economy is plummeting. Alright, so let's uh, reduce how much coal we are currently producing. There you go, that solves a big chunk of it. We just need to make everything more profitable, in general. 
Presidential Republic, right, more torty. I like that. Now transportation actually has value. That's what we that's what we want to see. And now it only costs us like 10 keys to subsidize it. That's that is much better. That says like another 40k, I think. Alright, so for now is at, at an actually reasonable price. Like it actually has a reasonable price I can deal with. Let's see how expensive is paper. We need a okay, let's build some paper. Let's build six paper manufacturers and more oil rigs right that's better that is much better motor industries now we have too many now we need to reduce this there you go that's better right we don't have rubber let's just go for press craftsman so sewing hmm we need more silk that's the thing 237 right build that up glass works what is your problem not enough demand and yeah okay so my glass glassworks in industry can actually survive in this condition there you go now that is stable that is all right. more silk we will need right problems with ports not enough convoys no problem no problem go down to ports and double it our economy is going down but it's slowing down how fast it's collapsing there you go pretty much all of our industries are now actually profitable they are actually productive and and efficient now our market is balanced all right let's delete some government administrations why am i still losing money i don't unre wait unrealized taxes what does that mean oh my god i'm not i'm not collecting the taxes that's why they, they are doing so bad here additional expensive massive food relief when does that go away Oh, Serbia wants to join our custom union. No. Hmm. Let me think about it. no. Let's let's try getting taxes on everything. Consumption taxes. Really? Mining strikes? Guys, it's not the damn time for this. Why would you do it now? There you go. That expense went away. Now we are, now we are only minus 60k. Why are we still going down? Why? Welfare payments. That is literally killing us right now. Government wages. Construction sectors. I am paying for that. Am I getting that right? Sure, we're gonna enact regulatory bodies. I'm sure we're gonna do that. We are in a surplus. We are in a surplus. We are in a surplus. I'm gonna try to uh, cut taxes, high, make h wages higher. Just in put it, put the money into our economy. There you go. We are in the we are in the positive. Good God, our economy is fixed. It is fixed. That's it. Yeah, you got regulatory bodies, be happy, whatever. There you go, it is stable now, it's stable. 76k, god, oh my god, it was horrible, that was horrible, that was so horrible. 12.7, why are people struggling so much? I'm actually curious, why? It's probably because I'm just taxing them a lot. Lowering taxes, there you go. 5 million radicals, people abs are absolutely angry, but we've, but this country is fixed now. Our nation has recovered. Again with the lack of... Sulfur. You know what, I'm, I'm actually tempted to just to go to war with Austria right now. Right, right the hell now, right the hell now, and try and get uh, like a province. Like try and get Southern Transylvania. Okay, it's not this one, is it this northern one? Where is the Sulfur province? It's... there's one in southern Greece. Tunisia is free. Alliance with Italy. Okay, if I get southern Greece, it'll give me le the lead and Sulfur I need. I'm actually desperate. I'm going for it right now. Oh my god, just give me the Sulfur, I need it! Yes, get it, get more Sulfur, get it, get the hell in here. There you go, we're getting more Sulfur in, our economy is doing okay now. More lead, that's what I want, need, and desire. We are going to conquer southern, we are going to conquer Greece. This war, this war will determine the fate of our very nation. There are so many wars going on and revolutions and whatever else. Right now, nobody else is joining, only the, on, it's only Austria versus me, and the Austrians have uh, quite a few problems. Is there a point in taking southern Greece? Is there any point in taking southern Greece? There are some iron mines, that would be nice. And some, you know what, I'm gonna add some states on Austria to get uh, Transylvania for myself. I'm not tolerating this. Wait, they gave up? Greece backs down? I do I got it! Alright, this is it. This is it, boys. Incorporate it. Delete everything here. Okay, I'll keep this. I'll get rid of this. And then, 
I have to upgrade everything here. Everything. All of these mines. Oh my god, yes. 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 Yes, I have some sulfur. This is what I all wanted all along. Look at this beautiful tobacco. That's actually really nice to have. Thank you, Gris. I will happily take that. We can do it. This is so good. They back down. I don't believe that I was full. I was completely ready to fight a death war to the end. Attica, it has a lot of stuff. Oh, yes. Delete all trade routes. We'll n we no longer need to rely on the war on this on this world. I can finally build up my in my industries without having to worry about resources. Oh, this is how it feels to live. Screw you, Austria. Go to hell. So let me get this right. Austria wants to annex Greece. <laughs> um, we are going to war with Austria for Transylvania, boys. Now that I have my resources ready, I don't care. Support the Greeks. I want to cut the Austria down to size. Make them suffer. Me up, mobilize everyone. Mobilize everyone. Finally, we're getting on top of this. I'm gonna protect the Greece. I'm not gonna allow this aggression. Expert naval commander. There you go. He is going to raid convoys. Actually, no. No, no, he's not gonna do that. We need more artillery, what? There you go. We are at war with Austria. Where are your divisions? Uh, this is just an opportunity to defeat, to capitulate the Austrians. And I'm already pushing. Where are your troops, idiot? Does... Wait, do they... Does Austria have no troops? No, they have troops. Where are they? Are they involved in another... Yes, they are involved in like four different things. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. This would have been a perfect opportunity to take uh, Transylvania without them being able to stop me. But it doesn't matter. Any opportunity to defeat Austria is a good opportunity. It costs uh, Austria. It costs that Austria way more. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally forgot. I literally forgot to change all of these to skirmish infantry to to be high quality. Oh my god. I just made one massive mistake. One massive mistake. I've made such a big mistake. You do not understand just how big the mistake I made is. Build all the ammunition plants possible. Wait. They actually conquered Greece. What? Oh my god. So regime change in Greece and next Greece. And you know what, we will leave the war. Build even more construction sectors, like every single one possible. I just avo I just narrowly avoided a big, big revolution. Uh five year truce, really? That's cringe. You know what? I might as well go for a war in the meantime. Let's invade Dobruja and mobilize everything. Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire, we're gonna get the Bruja from you, I'm sorry to tell you, actually I'm not, screw you. The Ottomans backed down, now we- Oh god, this is so good, I like this. Finally, the th things are going my way. I have been challenged for too long. This was perfect, this is perfect. Wait, I can form Romania! We and we have formed Romania. Now don't worry, we are not gonna end this here. I actually want to do a bit, I actually want to do more and see if I can form the Danubian state. Unlike all those YouTubers that have like those thumbnails. Like here's the thing. I had to try this, let me, this is the fourth time. The fourth time I've tried this. This is the first time I succeeded. I've tried watching other YouTubers that had Romania in their thumbnail because I was thinking, oh, I, I want to see how they did it. Did they get like a protectorate from Austria, from Russia? How did they do it? No, they didn't, they didn't even complete in most of them. Most of them, 90% didn't even form Romania. It was a lie. I am the first Romanian, the first Romanian YouTuber and likely the first YouTuber to actually form Romania legitimately. And I am triggered by the fact that I, n nobody did it legitimately. I'm, that angers me. We just have to wait right now. It is an easy conquest until I can go to war with Austria. It Greece is fearful. If you dare do anything, I will end you, Greece. Actually, I, I'm, st I'm actually, I'm still just going to end you, so uh, don't even mind it. I just, just give up. Italy is, uh, oh, now you want to do this, eh? Oh, Italy is no longer here. So how is this? It, so how is this going to go, Greece? Are you actually going to do this? Will we actually need to do this? Conquer the Peloponnese. Come on, Greece, just give it up. Greece is in bankruptcy. Uh, is Greece gonna back down at the last second or are they going to fight this to the end like the chads that they are? No, they backed it down. I thought that they were gonna do like one epic last stand as they fight for their right to exist. Build up all of the mines in Greece. Fifth biggest economy in the world. We are bigger than the British, than the Americans. We are quickly approaching the 
even Great Britain and Prussia. 200 and 210 million GDP. Yeah, we are the third biggest. I want to form the Danubian Confederation no matter how many more hours it takes. I'm well on my way. It's just going to take a while. Alright, here's the thing. We need rubber, so we're gonna make this. The Netherlands back down. Now have this colony. Half a million investment pool transfer. Second biggest GDP. Austria is gonna die. We will crush Austria. Now we are a pariah. 193 for me. Embargo, embargo, embargo. Embargo by everyone. Now we're at war with them. Let's land in Istria. 16 pounds per capita. There we go, we're defeating them at sea. We landed in Venice! Da, da, wood, da, wood. Yeah, so the pro yeah, so the problem is that Austria had a revolution and because of that it literally kicked me out of their country. I don't understand the fact that they had a revolution should mean that they that would they would be dead and I would get everything I wanted. Oh god, look at how high the defense is getting at this point. It's ridiculous it's getting ridiculous, really. Alright, so here's the strategy. Defend this front with as few troops as possible, mobilize our conscripts, and then, when ready, send of as many naval invasions as possible here. There you go, we, have, we can have the lowest level of tax as possible. We are in the Danube region, and we cannot use those troops to naval invade. The Austrians are trying to invade us. How cute. Alright, this time we will actually try to naval invade from the get-go. Leave again a 3 day delay, then mobilize these other guys and invade with an offensive general in the same place. Yeah, there's not really a way we can push through. Wait, the Iron Guard? Where is it? Government, Iron Guard, oh, the, oh, the fascists, we got them. I guess they'll be proto-fascists right now. That's nice. Alright, there's no point in trying to do it like that. They... The Austrians have just too good of defense, of a defense. Oh, there you go, we are invading over here, down here, and we are actually succeeding. Yeah, the game is getting quite laggy. I say quite laggy, I mean really, really laggy. As you can see, we are winning since we are occupying a good chunk of this country. Jesus Christ, the dead, we have lost way more than Austria does, did. But now that we are defending, we should be doing better, I think. And the Austrians don't really have the troops to really commit to all of these fronts, so they are getting overstretched. There you go, the Austrians literally don't have troops on the front. The, the troops that we are fighting right now are literally just garrisons. These are not troops. Oh, the Austrians did manage to push, out, to push us out of Venice, but I don't think that's quite enough. They are actually pushing us through to sheer weight of numbers. Wait, we, are, we have actually defended successfully. Let's try and get uh, that landing back in Venice. And we have successfully actually captured some of our world war goals. And we win again. They, these boys cannot stop us. The game literally just crashed, but thankfully I literally just saved before it happened. God.
Alright, so here's the thing. I, I I physically cannot get multiculturalism in order to form Danubia. So I'll need to launch the game in debug mode and get it that. Because nobody supports. Literally nobody supports it. Not the trade unions, not the rural folk, not the industries, not anyone. They all despise it. They hitting There you go. I just changed our law to multiculturalism. We have went from one of the weakest and poorest states in the world to an empire that spreads to the northern borders of Alaska, to the southern islands of the Falklands, to the New Zealand colonies of our British Republic puppet, and to the Hawkeye Island of Japan. And our only competitors, which are, J which are Russia, Germany, and Italy, will soon be conquered. Oh, look at how cute that is. The Italians actually want to reconcile relations for some reason. I wonder why. Oh, and so do the Germans. I wonder why they want reconciled relations with me. And now, we can form the Danubian state. I don't know how much I like this color. So, I believe that right now, we, the Danubian state, have an economy bigger than every single other economy in the world combined. And we have the number one GDP per capita in the world by quite a high margin. And unlike all of those YouTubers out there that use Romania in their in their thumbnail, I not only formed actual the actual Romania, but also formed the Danubian state, with possibly one of the hardest starts in the game. And now I can end this game. Have a nice game, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hey there! If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I put quite a lot of work into these videos, and I hope you enjoy them. See you.